All right, we're about to start this next project. This project took place, taking place right across the street from the longest concrete retaining wall on YouTube. Um, we did, this client watched us work over there. Hold on one second. Okay. Client watched us work over there. We did some work for him last year. The big concrete patio, I'll leave a link above or below. You guys can check it out. But basically we're doing two major fire truck um, turnarounds, a total of 12,000 square feet. We got about 120 piers to put in for a big deck. I'll leave a link either above or below of a deck that's similar to what we're doing. So pretty much we're going to be doing a lot of earthwork here. The same guys that did the work across the street, uh, they're, they're doing the earthwork here as well. I just kind of came out, set up some cameras. Basically what this area is going to be is a big fire truck turnaround. Out here in Cali, you got to have a certain percentage, a certain amount of area for a fire truck um, to turn around in. You can see that concrete there with a laser it. That's the existing grade. The plans calls for us to come in here. And you can see maybe here, in this area right there, calling for about a two foot, about a three foot cut right in here. So basically what we're doing is what they call over excavate. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible for, uh, for my YouTube land out there. But basically we're over excavating. You can see there we had to bring that down about three foot, get all the dirt out. We got some there, we also have some there. And here we're gonna continue with our turnaround here. I'm gonna get a drone shot up of that. Basically we had to get that out, had the soils guy come in, test the existing soil for compaction. We're gonna use our machine over there to compact this. We gotta get this to 95%. Then we're gonna bring in about a foot, maybe 18 inches of dirt, bring that back in, compact that to uh, 95% as well. So basically what we're doing is just working our way back up and then the final six, we're gonna have about six, 10 inches of compact base rod and then the final six inches is either gonna be concrete or asphalt. So this little procedure, what we're doing now is just basically called over excavation. Basically taking the dirt out, getting it down to a certain level that the, uh, the soils guy wanna see. We're gonna compact all this dirt here get that to 95% and then we're gonna take the dirt here, here, bring it in about a foot, 18 inches. We got some fill area we're gonna do in there and that's gonna be compacted 95% as well. So I'll get some video when they come out and test that. They already came out here, took a sample of the dirt, they're gonna take it back to the lab and they're gonna test it to make sure it's compactable, which it should be since it came out of here. So normally on big jobs or on retaining walls where you need dirt and you have to compact behind the uh, retaining wall, you have to make sure that dirt is what they call engineer field where it can be compacted. Some dirt will just fluff up. So that's my quick little history of excavation. I try not to dive too deep in this. Shout out to my boy Gino. He showed me kind of a lot of this work probably about five, six years ago. 